Hi. Today we're going to talk about the installation of the rear center console insert, the RCCI, an important product for Evanex. The RCCI offers rear seat passengers for the Tesla Model S three very important functions. First, and probably most important, two conveniently located and easy to use and high quality cup holders. The second, closed storage that allows you to store electronic devices, small books or toys in a place that's closed, out of the way and not at all unsightly. And the third is a padded armrest so that rear seat passengers can sit comfortably. All three of these functions turn the rear seat of the Model S into a seat that's akin to a sports sedan. And we think that's pretty cool. The rear center console is available in all upholstery colors and trim finishes available for Model S. Colors include black, tan, and gray. Trim finishes include carbon fiber, Obici gloss and matte, piano black, and lacewood. Let's talk a little about the installation of the RCCI. This install needs only one tool, a tool constructed from a simple wire coat hanger. All you need to do is grab a wire coat hanger from your closet, cut it as you see here, loop the ends, and you're ready to have your pull tool that's necessary to do the install in a safe and easy fashion. We're simply going to place the RCCI in the center of the rear seat. We can line it up with this seam right here. Keep it away from the edge because we're not going to do we're not going to push it in just yet. So we just leave it like that. You'll note also that we move the front seats forward just so that we'll have plenty of room to work. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the parcel shell. That's very important so that we'll have easy access to the rear seat back. We take our little pull tool, slide it under the seat, as you see here, and center it on this bar, which it turns out we'll use a little bit later, but for now it simply centers the seat. All you need to do is slide it through four or five inches, just so that you can see it from the other side. We now take the snap hook, which is this little hook right here, and we're just going to fasten it onto the pull tool like that. Okay, it's now there. Then gently from this side, we push the pull tool through at least a bit. We'll finish the pull from the other side. We want to guide it through so it doesn't catch on anything. So we pull this guy through. Now we go to the trunk and we finish the pull all the way until this guy, this, this backside seats up against the rear seat of the car. We're back out in the trunk and what we're going to do, as you can see, is simply pull through the strap and then get ready to hook it to the center horizontal bar, which is right here. We take the hook, pull it up, and fasten it down. We can tighten it as required, loop this thing through, and the rear portion is now fastened. This is done both to stabilize the RCCI and for safety. Okay, now we're in the back seat. I'm sitting on the driver's side, and what we're going to do is take this curved hook and hook the front side of the RCCI under the front edge of the rear seat. There is no spring or snap. We just pull it down and hook it under like this. Some owners decide not to use the front strap. That is this strap right here. If in fact you opt for that, you can slide it under the RCCI and it effectively disappears. However, we recommend that you do use the front strap for both safety and for the stability of the unit. Once the two straps are connected, the RCCI is really quite secure and it will serve you in good stead providing all three functions that we talked about earlier for rear seat passengers.